Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the Notification Center in Mountain Lion. So the Notification Center is a new feature in Mountain Lion and it's much like the Notification Center in iOS. You can get little notices from different apps and they'll appear on the right side of your screen and you can look at a list of them. So the best way to start learning about notifications is to dig right into System Preferences and go to Notifications in there. There you'll see a list of apps. These are apps that are in the Notification Center. In other words, they have permission to send notifications to you. So you won't find all your apps there because not all apps have this ability. And you'll ha find these broken into two groups. The first is those in Notification Center. So they have something turned on, some sort of notification ability. If you turn everything off, like you deselect all the notification options, they'll drop down into not a Notification Center and you'd still be able to get to them to turn things back on. Right now all the apps I have that use notifications are at the top because they have notifications turned on. Now let's start by looking at a simple one, Calendar. So it's pretty obvious why Calendar will send you notifications. So when you have uh, an event and you've set it to alert you, it's going to do that using notifications now. Previously it popped something up on your screen. It's kind of like a notification, but it wasn't in a unified interface that included other apps as well. So for Calendar we can see that, like a lot, there are three options for notifications. None would basically say don't actually send me notifications. So it's a way to turn off all of those messages you get from Calendar. Second option would be banners. And banners basically are a little notice that appear in the upper right hand corner of your screen and they fade away after a few seconds. Alerts are the same thing but they will actually stay on the screen and you have to actually click them to dismiss them. So probably for something like calendar messages you want to use alerts. But for other things like maybe uh, Game Center messages for instance or getting new mail you may want them to just be banners and appear and then disappear on their own. Now the other options we've got here are typical of apps. You've got uh, how many notices to show in the Notification Center. So if you have an app that's showing you a lot, like maybe you're a big gamer and you're getting tons of messages, you can have it show only the five most recent items or you can increase or decrease that. You can also have the uh, badge app icon which shows you those little numbers. You know, you see this a lot in iOS where it says a little one or five or something in a circle showing you've got notifications for that app. Um, and also you can choose to have a sound play as well as getting the little message on the screen. Now with Max, with Mountain Lion, the Notification Center is pretty new. You'll find that for all these default apps you have the same options. But we've learned that in iOS in the Notification Center there sometimes apps have different options. So uh, we may see apps that appear and have different things that they, they say here. I'll also notice you can sort what's in your Notification Center. So if you're constantly say turning off or changing the alert style for something you can uh, drag and drop these and put something else at the top if you want. Or you can have it sort by time. So the most recent one would then appear at the top. Now let's look at a message that you get in Notification Center. I've set up a calendar event here that will go off in just a few seconds. It's going to send me just a plain message, regular calendar event like you could have sent in iCal or now the calendar app. And we're going to look in the upper right hand corner of the screen and see what we get when that message, that alert triggers. And you can see there, there's the message that's a full alert so I actually have to click something. I can click the close button to dismiss it or I can click snooze and the message will then come back in a few minutes. Now if I click on the notification center icon, which is this icon here, it's in the upper right hand corner. Spotlight is still there but it's just moved over one. Um, I get the notification center and I can see a list of recent notifications. So here I can see from the calendar app I've gotten this test message here. And if I wanted to I could even double click on it and it will take me right to that event. It would open calendar if uh, the calendar had not been running. Now let's try one using the Reminders app. So here I am in Reminders. Um, and I'm going to add something. Just hit the plus button. Um, let's see. Uh, check my email. At 9.30 a.m. And you can see it took that natural language there and created a reminder. Now reminders are set to only uh, put up a quick banner and not send me a full alert. So let's look at what happens when we get to 9.30 on the right side of the screen. We can see there it is. There's a little audible sound too in this case. Uh, and I can see it's there and it's going to disappear all on its own. Now if I go into Notification Center I can see it still has that recent alert that I had for the calendars and it's got that reminder there. 
uh, I can double click on it and it will take me to the Reminders app. A few other tips and tricks for Notification Center. One is if you go into the Notification Center and you swipe down, you can see this little switch for Show Alerts and Banners. If you turn this off, basically it turns off Notification Center but only for the rest of the day. In the morning it will turn on automatically so you don't forget. You can do the same thing actually by option clicking on the icon here. So when you see it grayed out you know that it's turned off. In addition to that you've got some cool functions like for instance gestures that control. If you have a trackpad uh, we can swipe from right to left. Now you have to put your fingers all the way to the right of the trackpad. You can't do it in the middle like you were actually like swapping pages in Safari or something. So all the way from right to the left with two fingers and it brings up Notification Center and then you can close it again. So the gesture is a handy thing to use. One tricky thing is that you can use Twitter with Notification Center but not the way you think. The official Twitter app doesn't actually support it. What you got to do is go into your mail contacts and calendars and add Twitter as an account. Even though it's not an email account this part of System Preferences now handles all sorts of things. So you add your account there, sign into it, and now you've got that added as one of the accounts on your system. Now if you go to Notification Center you'll see Twitter listed and it will put new tweets in your Notification Center here. And in addition to that you'll also get a click to tweet button which allows you to send a quick tweet right from your Notification Center. So it turns Notification Center into a Twitter client. And of course third party apps can use Notification Center. So some of your favorite apps may already use this and others will soon in the future. So you can see more apps listed Notification Center and they'll be able to do more things. Put things into the Notification Center allow you to do things from the Notification Center and just make those apps that much more useful. So look for that and if your favorite app doesn't support it maybe email the developer and ask them to start using Notification Center. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMos Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.